What is forgiveness? According to the Webster's Dictionary it is the act of giving a person a pardon for a sin or injury against another person. But is there a sin or injury that is caused by another person too severe to forgive? According to the Journal of Psychology Clinical Psychiatry out of 120 depressed male and female patients, there were 76.80 males and 79.87 females chose to forgive the person that sinned or caused them harm. Humanity has experienced many harmful acts for centuries, but if we choose not to forgive, we never will heal. This journey called life is to learn by different experiences. We learn to forgive by the example of others. Forgiveness starts with the mending of the heart. As a person heals they begin to let go of the pain of the past. Memories lay dormant, but the person gradually progress towards better options in his or her life. A famous pioneer in our current lifetime once said that a person must grow emotionally, mentally, and spiritually in order to be able to forgive. Martin Luther King Jr. So it is a process to once again be able to forgive no matter the sin or injury someone may have caused a person. In conclusion how can a person expect someone to forgive them if they are not willing, and able to do the same? Learn from past experiences. Do not forget what was learned. Forgive, and move forward with a positive attitude. There is no life without change. Forgiveness is a choice, but it should be a requirement. A continuing cycle of disorder from hurtful or harmful events will cause a person to become the executor that they themselves despise. Start a new cycle of forgiving, and let your life blossom into an environment of joy. What is the art of forgiveness? The practice of forgiving each, and every person that a being encounters. Forgiving does not have to be for a personal wrong, harm, or act. Forever forgiving eliminates a high percentage of thought processes to do wrong. Message by Hattie Emia Totem. Live in peace, express divine love, and well in happiness.